centuries have come and gone, offering wisdom and understanding throughout the ages. Today, there should be nothing beyond one's power to discover. And yet the strange, unusual, and mysterious world of the supernatural defies understanding. Stay tuned for a unique and powerful investigation into a curious, undiscovered universe only on It's Supernatural! Hello, Sid Roth, your mentor of the supernatural. I'm just reminded of my mother. My mother used to say, and I come from a Jewish background, so my Jewish mother used to say after she came to know the Messiah, heaven must be a wonderful place. And then she died, and my Jewish father had not received the Lord, and he was literally on his deathbed. And I remember saying to him, Dad, don't you want to be with Mom? Remember, she used to say, Heaven must be a wonderful place. Then the Spirit of God moved on him, and my Orthodox Jewish father received the Messiah. But I have a man that has been to that wonderful place and has been commanded by the Lord to tell us about heaven. Now, this man comes from a very broken background. His name is Gary Wood, and his parents were alcoholics, abusive, uh, his best friend died, had his head decapitated. That must have been traumatic when John had his head decapitated. It was very uh, traumatic for me, Sid. It caused me to have visions and nightmares for many months until I really had an encounter and saw him in heaven. And well, I, let's not get to there. Uh, we, you, you were in an automobile accident. It was December 23rd, 1966. That's what right. happened? Well, I was driving home, uh, and my little sister was in the car with me, and we were just anticipating spending Christmas with our family, and she was singing Silent Night, Holy Night. And I was just listening to her beautiful soprano voice when all of a sudden she let out a, a blood-curdling scream. And I turned to see what was the matter, and we crashed into the back of a 10-ton wrecker truck that was illegally parked on the edge of the highway that evening. It, it was in the midst of a, uh, the town that we were in was in the midst of a big oil field boom. It was saturated in oil. She saw it, just a reflection in the bumper, tempted to warn me, but it was too late. It just seemed like crashing into a brick wall. And our car just crushed like an accordion. I remember just rising up out of my body. Dying was just uh, very painless. Uh, at, at first, I experienced pain. There was like an explosion in my nose, the sharp searing uh, pain across the lower portion of my facial anatomy. And then I was just really relieved of all pain. It was just like taking your clothes off and discarding them on the other side. And I was caught up in a real... Uh, massive swirling funnel shaped cloud and a real bright light not as bright as the uh, bright as the studio lights here but just uh, a very tranquil light that engulfed me and I began to rise upward and I began to walk up a pathway much like kind of one of those modern airports where you walk and mm -hmm. the, the little walkway moves quickly and uh, suddenly I heard singing now, I was a music major at the time of the accident at uh, college. When I was in high school, I had won several awards for uh, singing. So unlike me, you know when some there's good singing or just average singing. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. And this is the most uh, stupendous singing I've ever heard in my life. The angels of heaven were singing, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive glory and power, wisdom and dominion be given unto thee forever, O Lord. Amen and amen. And Sid, you never heard anything to you. You've heard trillions and billions of an angelic beings as they begin to worship and magnify God. Have you and heard anything on earth close to that? Absolutely not. Sometimes we'll get into an atmosphere in some areas uh, of churches that I go to where people begin to worship, but never of the magnitude that I heard uh, when I was there in glory. I remember then that this cloud just opened up and I saw this gigantic golden satellite suspended in space. You know, Sid, the most dependent thought that can ever occupy the mind of man is heaven and how to get there. And thank God that we're not left to grope in darkness, but God has given us His Word as a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. And so I, I remember uh, looking at the foundation of this city. It was solid jasper. That, that, that's diamonds. And I remember each foundation, 12 of them, were different foundational 
stones. And I, I remember looking at the names of the 12 apostles inscribed on those 12 stones. That sounds like scripture to me. Exactly. It's in the book of Revelation. And then I saw the gates of solid pearl. The Bible gives us the dimensions of the city. And a scientist uh, worked with me in Florida. And here's the dimensions. It's 2.7 cubic billion miles at its circumference. It's 780,000 stories high. And there's enough room to comfortably accommodate 100,000 million people. That's more people than ever lived. 100,000 million people that have ever lived on planet hmm. Earth at any one time. But Jesus said it like this, in my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you so. I go to prepare a place for you. Oh, yeah. I don't want to get too far, but did you see your mansion? I saw my mansion. What did it look like? like? Well, it looked like a southern colonial home. I saw the, uh, a fence and I saw the beautiful marble columns. I walked into my mansion. I was uh, taken on a tour of heaven, literally by a friend of mine who had died previously that you talked about. And I recognized This was the him. guy that was decapitated? The decapitated. The, I recognized him immediately. Without a head? I, well, I knew him now. He had his head and he okay. was <laughs> exactly like I remembered him up on the earth. And uh, he well, took it's nice for God to send him exactly. to welcome you. I've learned that when, you're, when you go to heaven during this transition, God has a special person assigned to you. Maybe your mother, maybe a, a, a loved one that's departed, but God has someone to acclimate you, so to speak, and did, to take did you, you on care, Did you hug him when you saw him? I hugged him. And we embraced and and uh, we just uh, shared for a while. And he said, there's many things that I need to share you, share with you. And he began to take me on this tour. I went to my mansion and I went in and there were three buckets of paint sitting in what looked like a living room area. Well, my friend dipped his hand in one, threw it against the wall and a beautiful floral arrangement appeared. Now, if you really get to know me, the, my nature, I picked up the whole bucket flung it against the wall and the whole room was saturated with the smell see it was like roses and the fragrance and then he told me he said it's not ready for you to occupy he said you've got to go and so that's when I went out I walked on a street that was pure solid gold it was transparent you could see all the way through it gold is transparent gold is transparent you go to a jeweler and they will tell you that there's an impurity in gold. And when that impurity is removed, gold is not yellow, it's transparent. If you're not fascinated, something wrong with you. Be right back. Don't go away. When you go to heaven, it's going to be too late. You'll know everything there. What if you could get that insight now? Gary Wood had an experience in heaven. It's all biblical. You'll understand how to pray better than you ever did before. How prayers operate on earth and on heaven. You'll understand healing better than you've ever before. You'll understand the purpose of selling out in this life better than you ever had before. You will understand what happens to your loved ones that have died, a place called heaven. Get it now. Gary Wood's complete story is available in this intriguing book, A Place Called Heaven, and is available now for a donation of $10 or more postage paid. Write to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, Post Office Box 1918, Brunswick, Georgia, 31521, or call 1-800-548-1918. Ask for order number 990. The World Wide Web, a vast network, a virtual electronic library full of exciting and enlightening information all at your fingertips, right in your own home. Now, Sid Roth invites you to visit the online home of Messianic Vision on the World Wide Web, www.sidroth.org. Stay connected every day with Sid Roth on the World Wide Web. Find out what's happening at www.sidroth.org, your online source for up-to-the-minute news from Messianic Vision. From radio... Hello, I'm Sid Roth, your investigator for... Reporter to television. It's supernatural. To a word from Sid and more, including an intercessor's update. www.sidroth.org provides easy 24 hour online access to all the news and information from Messianic Vision. Click on us and check us out. There's only one place to stay connected the online home of Sid Roth and Messianic Vision. It's all available 24 7 at www.sidroth.org.
Hello, Sid Roth, your mentor of the supernatural. I'll tell you something, it's wonderful that I move in the supernatural power of God. It's wonderful that Gary Wood moves in the supernatural power. But what would be better is for you to move in the supernatural power of God. And Gary learned things in heaven. He died. Medically speaking, he died. And he went to heaven. And Gary, there is something that fascinates me so much. You went to the library. Tell me about that. Yes, there are all kinds of volumes of books in there. And when someone received Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior here upon the earth, an angel will take a cloth and just wipe out all the transgressions and all the deeds that a person had done in their life. And then their name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Did you actually I, see this happen? While I actually there? saw it happen. I saw a man on the earth receive Jesus. I saw the angel receive the report. They wiped out the transgressions of his life. That, that that's got to be so name. real to it, you. It was very real because I saw my name written in really? the Lamb's Book of Life. I saw books with prayer requests in them, spiritual growth, you know, that we have here on the earth. And uh, I, I, I saw... So, so they're paying attention to whether we are growing or whether we're just watching uh, soap operas. Absolutely. <laughs> and then souls that we have won to the Lord. I saw all that when I was there. Did you in see in this book uh, of souls that were won to the Lord, souls that you had one people that I personally had led to the Lord Jesus Christ were recorded there. And then I saw my name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. See it? And it said, paid in full by the precious red blood of Jesus. And uh, I, I, I saw all kinds of, of uh, volumes of books because in heaven we're going to be continually learning. You're not going to just stop your learning experience. We're going to keep on learning. And uh, I came out of that experience. I saw seven golden lamps that represent the Holy Spirit. I saw God's throne, 24 elders seated around God's throne. Said I saw a room that contained body parts. I walked oh. in and it said unclaimed blessings. When I opened the door, I saw legs, I saw arms, I saw every portion of one's anatomy. And people say, well, why does there need to be a room like that in heaven? Because God has a spare part room. God has a miracle. And I saw people on earth pray and request a miracle. I saw the prayer request go up. I saw the angel go get the prayer request. I saw the angels come back down. And I heard people say, the day of miracles has passed. There never was a day of miracles. There's a God of miracles. And the God of miracles has a miracle for you. Right Question. Now. Question. You heard specific songs in heaven yes. before they came to earth. Explain that. I heard hallelujah. I heard uh, 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 he is Lord. And uh, all these people were worshiping and magnifying the Lord, singing all hail uh, King Jesus. Uh, they, were, they were singing songs because all songs of the Spirit originate in heaven. And so how do we get them on earth? Then they are dropped down into the heart of someone who will receive it and then sing it forth and give it for the glory of God. Yes. Every, every musician can become pregnant with a song. Is worship important to God? Does it really matter to Him? Well, that's all we're going to be really focusing on in heaven. We're going to be joining that great angelic chorus, and we're going to be magnifying and worshiping but the Lord. But what if you're like me, and you can't, you can't even carry a tune? You're going to be able to, Sid. Oh, okay. I, here's what I saw. I saw notes floating through the air, and I saw notes just go. That's the only way I'm not describing it, musical notes. And they would just go into people, and they would sp uh, spontaneously begin to worship and magnify and praise the Lord. Trees were clapping and uh, flowers had faces and they were singing everything was magnifying and praising the Lord yeah there'll be no imperfection that you'll have perfect pitch now Jesus said gave you instructions yes. when you left heaven what were they he told me to make him real to people of this earth he sent me back with a message and he gave me three specific areas that I sum up in the book that I wrote a place called heaven one is that there'll be a spirit of restoration that will prevail throughout the land get ready for prodigals to come back and and return number two he said to be a spirit of prayer said he showed me how to pray he told me to pray it is written that I could claim it is finished he showed me demonic spirits over cities and how to bombard heaven 
and get the prayers released and get the answer. Number three, he said there'd be miracles, unprecedented in time and eternity, such as mankind has never seen before. And all those three things simultaneously taking place would uh, uh, begin to be a dramatic sign of his imminent return. Did you want to return? No. When you're over there in that realm, that is far more real than this earth. My precious wife, Dina, often looks at me and she says, Earth to Gary. Now, why earth did you return? I returned because my little sister began to pray the name of Jesus. It's the most powerful name on the face of the earth. She had heard the doctors pray. What happens in heaven when, you, when, you're pray, when she was praying the name of Jesus? What, what happened to you in heaven? Every angel stands at alert. They stop immediately and they draw their swords. They're ready to be summoned and beckoned to go and to hearken unto the voice of the child of God that uses the precious name of Jesus. I saw demon forces tremble. I, I saw that down in the other portion of, of uh, what I was seeing from that vantage point. And they were trembling with fear whenever a believer would use the name of Jesus. Okay, you got back in your body. Then what happened? They rushed me to San Juan County Medical Hospital in Farmington, New Mexico, did an evaluation, discovered that uh, the, the uh, turn signal indicator had sliced my nose off. I have a hundred stitches in my face. Uh, my jaw was broken in three places. My neck was broken in three places. Uh, my vocal cords were crushed. My larynx was crushed and doctors said I would never be able to sing, let alone never be able to, I couldn't speak, let alone never be able Wait to Wait a sing. second, if he can't speak, how can he tell people about what happened in heaven? And how can he be talking right now? Don't go away, we'll be back right after this word. When you go to heaven, it's going to be too late. You'll know everything there. What if you could get that insight now? Gary Wood had an experience in heaven. It's all biblical. You'll understand how to pray better than you ever did before. How prayers operate on earth and on heaven. You'll understand healing better than you've ever before. You'll understand the purpose of selling out in this life better than you ever had before. You will understand what happens to your loved ones that have died, a place called heaven. Get it now. Gary Wood's complete story is available in this intriguing book, A Place Called Heaven, and is available now for a donation of $10 or more postage paid. Write to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, Post Office Box 1918, Brunswick, Georgia 31521, or call 1-800-548-1918. Ask for order number 990. Hello, Sid Roth, your mentor of the supernatural, here with Gary Wood. Fascinating. He died medically. He went to heaven. He wrote a book about it because God told him to write this book about going to heaven. With... I'll tell you what, I am growing so much just even sitting next to him, just even listening to this. But when he came back to his earth suit, I, they, I mean, his body was messed up. He was in a horrible automobile accident. But the worst thing of all is his larynx was crushed. When this occurs, it's not like you can get a transplant. It's not like you can get an operation. There is nothing medical science can do. And so one day you were worshiping God, and what happened? Well, I was just listening to a song, He Touched Me, on the radio by Bill Gaither, and I just said, basically, uh, in my spirit, because I couldn't speak, I just said, God, you, uh, you can touch me. You can do what this says. And with God, nothing is impossible. And Jesus walked into my hospital room, just came in. I saw him just like I saw him in heaven, and he touched me. And uh, then the little nurse came in, and she came walking in, and she said, Good morning, Mr. Wood. How are you doing? Uh-oh, I can picture doing, this. <laughs> yes, she'd been doing this now. 
now for nine months. And her job, of course, was you know to encourage me and right. cheer me up and keep me from being depressed. And uh, when Jesus comes in the room, I mean, everything changes. And I threw my hands up and said, praise God, I've been healed. And she dropped the tray. She went running out, got the doctor. Doctors came in. They started examining me. They said, you can't speak. You can't talk. You, you can't do this and that. And I thank God got a second opinion. And Dr. Jesus healed me and said, I've been going everywhere telling everybody. But, but wait a second now. When they uh, In your book, you have a picture of the x-ray, and it shows that your larynx was not healed. It's still crushed. How can That's you right. be talking? Well, just by the supernatural miracle working power of God, because God is a miracle worker. And I believe in miracles. Job 37, 14 says, stand still and consider the wondrous works of God. And he performed this miracle on my behalf, and he wants to perform miracles in people's lives today. Okay, I, I, I've had a thought several times, and I can't dismiss it. I want you to sing a couple of lines, no more, a couple of lines of a song you heard in heaven. All together lovely, all together worthy, all together lovely is my Lord. You're not supposed to be able to do that. I can't sing and I can't speak medically even now but jesus touched me sid and i go everywhere we've just been to russia we just got invited to poland and uh listen i got all of these miracles we don't have time to even go go into it but i, I want you to talk to our viewers and tell them how they can have the same type of miracle as you had i want you to know that god really loves you you're really special and he wants to give you a miracle and I'm going to pray and believe God for your miracle right now uh, all you have to do is just by faith believe God told me said God was healing that he was healing someone that with an esophagus problem having difficulty swallowing he's also healing someone of a rotor cup in their shoulder Heavenly Father I believe you're a miracle working God you're the same yesterday today and forever what you did for me you're willing to do for everyone in this audience Christ you redeemed us from the curse of the law and so I thank you for doing the same work that you did when you were here on the face of the earth right now to everyone that's needing a miracle in Jesus name God just healed someone also in their lower spine of a slip disc the warmth of the power of the Holy Spirit is going into them right now in that area and someone sprained their ankle their left ankle and God is healing that right now also said he's a miracle worker and he now when you're saying these words of knowledge are you hearing them are you seeing them what's going on well just in my spirit the Lord is just telling me this I'm just I'm hearing it that's what I that's how I received from the Lord now tell me about that friend of yours that died it had a heart attack yes well I went to a home and I was uh, giving a Bible study and uh, one of the words of knowledge that I had was that someone had suffered from a heart attack but he didn't respond and so we left and we rode uh, ways and uh, one of the ladies had forgotten her purse so we turned around and we went back and uh, when we arrived back there was an ambulance at the house and uh, the man had suffered a massive heart attack and died came back to life and he told everyone there he said I've just been to heaven and the Lord Jesus Christ told me that everything Gary is saying is true well then said everyone wanted me to pray for him. <laughs> and we were there for another 45 minutes now the remarkable part about that story is and I'll, I, I hesitate to even tell the story but there were six people that verified this story one being my wife when we, when we left it was 10 30 p.m. in the night in the evening when we returned and we started back home we all gasped we'd, we'd been some 45 minutes now praying for people we just gasped when we all looked at the car clock and realized almost simultaneously it was 10 30 God had stopped time to verify this word of knowledge for this brother and now he is healthy and whole and and well and serving God you know the God that can stop time can do anything do you remember the story about the library and the book the book of life I have a question for you when you get there 
will your name be in there? Or will it be filled with sins? Would you like to see an angel wash away every bad thing you've ever done so your name can be in the book of life? I urge you to get right with God. There is such a special presence of God right now. Do not miss this moment of your visitation. Tell God you're sorry for sin. Believe that the blood of Jesus washes away all of your sins. Repent. Ask for the power to overcome these sins. And make Jesus your Messiah and Lord. And ask Him to live inside of you. And you know what? I feel like he's an ear, nose, and throat doctor right now. In Jesus' name, whatever problems you have in the head area, the entire head and back area, and hip, <laughs> it's fine. You are being healed right now in the name of Yeshua, in the name of Jesus. 30 seconds, one mentor point for our listeners. God has a miracle with your name on it. Claim it and receive it. Believe and receive, and he'll give you your miracle. Just grab a scripture. Hold on for dear life. And guess what? It's yours. By his stripes, you were healed. You were healed. By his stripes, blood came. By his sacrifice. If you could only see in the spirit world, there are the body parts you want coming into you right now. Just don't. How can two walk together unless they be agreed? He agreed with the promises in God's word. And your name will be inscribed in the book of life. Most people spend their entire lives trying to obtain material things that will never truly satisfy them. They focus on earthly rewards, an expensive home, luxury car, wealth, and earthly pleasures. Life is short, and we can't take those things with us. There's only one thing we take to heaven. It's souls. God wants all people to know him. But he has a method. It's to go to the Jew first. His strategy is that the Jew requires a sign. That's the reason I equip you for the supernatural. And I know that this Jewish harvest will result in the greatest Gentile harvest in history. For over 25 years, I've been pioneering for such a time as this. I have the tools, the call, and the anointing. This is the set time to have mercy on Israel. Here's how you can find out more about Sid Roth's Messianic Vision. Call now and get your six-month free subscription to our bi-monthly newsletter, Sid Roth's Messianic Vision. You'll find out how you can be a part of helping Sid Roth reach millions of Jewish people worldwide with the good news of Jesus the Messiah. Call now to start receiving your free copy of this dynamic newsletter. It will share with you the exciting things God is doing through the Messianic Vision Ministry. Call right now. If you're encouraged and helped by these television presentations, please consider assisting us with future productions. Send your tax-deductible gifts to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, Post Office Box 1918, Brunswick, Georgia, 31521. Call toll-free 1-800-548-1918. Visit us at our website, www.sidroth.org.